Hey guys, welcome back to another quick Kdom 3D tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you each of the auto texture features you can add to the models you've generated in Kdom. The options we'll be looking at are Image Projection, Stylized, and PBR. After that, we'll also be using the Iterate feature where we can make small changes to our models. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. First, I'm going to generate a new model and use a high option using this image as reference. I was told having an orthographic view will be better when it comes to auto texturing and the last character I had with the model didn't really have that image perspective. I'm going to open up in 3D Studio and here I'll open the auto texturing. I'll click import original image to test how this would look. The image projection pretty much just lays out your image flat on your model. It's a quick and easy way to get your models textured. Keep in mind that the auto texture will take up one credit each time you generate it. Press submit and it should start generating the texture. After generating, you can already see that I kind of stuffed up that one, but at least it's good to know to not always use the original image for your generation. Instead, I'll click on show dimensions to get an understanding of the model height and width, and we could probably try and manipulate the concept image in Photoshop. Opening up my Photoshop to a new document, I have the width and height in centimeters to mirror my model. I'll do some resizing and moving around to center it or stretch it out just so it touches the edges. I'll save it and do the same for the back pose, lowering down the opacity and making sure it's aligned with the front view. After saving those images, I'll head back to Kdom and click on Auto Texturing. Now it gives me the option to use a front and back view separately. In this case, we can remove the side profile we had in the original image since that must have been the one causing the problem. We'll now click Submit and after a few minutes, your image should be textured again. Honestly, it isn't perfect but from the front view, it looks way better than what I had before. We do have some issues with the eyes, the eyebrow and the hat. But other than that, everything else looks quite reasonable. Now let's have a look into the stylized option of auto texturing. This option is best for less detailed textures and automatically colors each vertex on your model. Once again, I'll add the front and back view and click submit. Not really sure how I feel about this one. The quality of it is kind of pixelated and I don't think it's best when using it for complex characters. It colored the pants, shoes, gloves and a bit of the scarf properly though, so it's not all bad. Last but not least, we have PBR. I know this is best for more fabric, metal, and all sorts of material, so uploading a character really isn't ideal. This would be best used if your model is a knife, chair, or any other sort of object, but I want to try it out anyways to see what the clothes would look like. Here it gives us the option only for the front view. I'll press submit and wait for the results. Looking at it, I actually really like it. It gives off this factory toy material where if I wanted to make a toy game, I would definitely use this feature. It's added a lot more texture to each part of the model, which made it way more clear and high quality to look at. This would definitely be a good use for miscellaneous stuff. I'm quite happy with the result for this one. Now that we've looked into each of the auto texture feature, we'll go ahead and try the iterate feature. This part is an AI, but instead it's done by one of the 3D specialists. The iterate feature also uses one credit. What this feature does is that it allows you to circle and choose certain bits of your model and then make adjustments. In this case, I circled the eyes, eyebrows, and the hat, since these are the main changes I wanted to add on the model. I asked to bring the eyes and eyebrows down or to even extend the hat so it aligns with the texture I'd added. After you've described what you want, you can click submit. Now one thing I wish I knew before my model gets iterated was that your texture gets removed, which is kind of a bummer because now I have to use one credit to retexture my model, not getting guaranteed that it will turn out the way I want it. Judging from the iterated model, there weren't any changes made to the eyes and eyebrows, but the hat however did get longer. I'll go ahead and retexture this and unfortunately it still didn't turn out the way that I hoped. If this happens to you guys and you're not happy with the results, please contact the support and they'll try their best to help you and resolve this issue. As for myself though, I'm not really fussed out since I'm just trying out the model. Anyways, that is all for this video. I personally would just go with the fill feature and just edit things myself in the own game, but that's just my preference. In that way, I can save some extra credits and just use them for more models. Big thanks again to Kaden for partnering with me and allowing me to use their tools. Be sure to give them support by following all their social media. You can go ahead and ask their team for any further questions on Kaden. The link to this stuff will be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.